Hey, listen. First time in Southwest. This is an experience. <laughs> Thank you for these, Robert. I am so excited. I booked it. I booked it. Flashy Southwest custom paint job. First time in Southwest. Oh my dear God. How ghetto. <laughs> You're so ghetto, by the way. In case you don't know, Southwest. You don't have to sign seats. So as soon as we landed in Reno, we ran into Jaime Camille Canelo fans and they insisted on giving us a ride and we insisted not to get in the car and as you can see, we got in the car. Canelo! This is a restaurant I would highly recommend called the Drunken Noodle. If I remember correctly, they had amazing food. The staff was outstanding. The service was amazing. The food was delicious. Highly check them out. Here, we get into work. We run into the gym, we see Canelo. He's uh, sparring and exercising and working out, so I just started looking busy. Got some cool shots. More of this is kind of for the podcast. I'm in knocking it out. Out here, here's the run. This was uh, two days later. Many more feet in altitude. I like that. I thought I was able to keep up, so I brought some uh, recording tripods or monopods and some little light equipment. I stopped two, three times and I was never able to catch up. Vamos todos a triunfar. Vamos todos a triunfar. Vamos todos a correr. Desde Cuba vine a triunfar y a todos los exponentes en el bolsillo me lo voy a echar. What? Feliciano no sabe rimar, pero todos se la van a pelar. Vamos todos a entrenar, si no gordos se van a quedar. Camino entre lobos yo, y aprendiendo estoy a huyar. Y ustedes con sus mamadas de cantar. And that was the end of day two. The next day, we trained, got more exercises in, got the setup. <laughs> Day three, afternoon, right before our flight, set up, cameras, and I was getting ready. Interview dropping. Did you see it here first? Exclusively. Um, wasn't that bad.